what are three things that you need to know in order to be able to connect with your spirit guides? We're going to talk about that today. Hi, beloved. I'm Tamala, your empowerment partner, professor, and psychic, and welcome to your empowerment place. So people talk about spirit guides all the time, right? And I'm actually teaching a class in January about connecting you to your spirit guides, which I'll talk about at the end of this video. But in order to be able to do that class or in order to be able to connect to your spirit guides, there's three things that really have to be in place for you before you can move on to that, okay? The first one is you have to know, know that you know that you know, right? Not believe, not imagine, not pretend, but know that you actually have spirit guides, that there are guides or beings that are not in a body right now that have agreed to guide you through this life process. And the guides were guides that you communicated with and agreed to do this process with before you incarnated in this lifetime. They know what your plan is for this lifetime and they are here to help you move through that process with as much ease and grace as possible. Now, if you don't believe that or you don't know that or you don't understand that, you're not gonna be able to communicate with them because they're not going to exist for you because we know based on the law of attraction that whatever we believe becomes true for us. So if you don't believe it, then that means that it is not true for you. So it's as if you put up this brick wall, there's no way for your guides to communicate with you because you've decided they don't exist. So the second thing that's gonna be important for you to be able to communicate with your guides after you know that they exist is you have to understand how you receive information, feedback, responses from things that are not in a body, whether that's source or spirit or your spirit guides or resonances or energy, whatever words or languaging that you use around that, you have to understand how you specifically engage with that information. And I have a video where I talk about this, so I'll link that below. Now, if you don't know how you communicate, there are different ways of how you receive in information, energy, resonances, so forth, from those that are not in the body. And this is where the clairs come in, right? Clairaudient, clairsentient, right? You've heard of those before. And you need to know which of those you are. And all of us are something, Right? We all receive information, knowledge, wisdom, feedback from non-local information. That means non-third dimensional information. We all do, right? We can pick up radio waves. We can pick up energies or frequencies. We can pick up changes and fluctuations in um the balance, right? We can, we can even notice a change in the force, right? So whether we know this consciously or not is really true. And I'm kind of being silly about it, but it really is true. All of us are connected to everything. So we notice when things are different or when they're disrupted or when they're changed. And so what you want to do is you want to be able to know how do I pick up on that information? Now, for me, I have all the clairs. So I get information by seeing things. I hear things. I smell things. I taste things. I know things. 
So I have all the clairs. Now, you may or may not have all of them. You may have one of them. You may have one that's stronger than the others. And what you want to do is you really want to start paying attention to that particular one. Let's say it is um, you have clairsentience. Okay, you just know things. You walk into a room and you know, wait a minute, something, somebody's had an argument in this room. Okay, okay, that happens. You can pick up on that negative energy. So start paying attention to when you notice things that you know. Okay, this is a clear indication that you're picking up on resonances and frequencies. And if you start tuning into this is how I receive information, then your guides are gonna more easily be able to get information to you through that doorway because now you've opened that doorway and you're paying attention. Hey, I'm paying attention. Where's my information? And it'll be there. Now, if you're not paying attention, if you have your gifts closed down like I did for decades and decades, then you're not going to necessarily pick up on those information, that those downloads, all of that stuff specifically, okay? I'll give you an example. Um, my great-grandfather, always when he was alive, when he was in a body, he used to jangle the coins in his pocket. Jangle, 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 right? He'd be standing there and that's, that's just what he would do with his hands. And so, when he, he passed away when I was really young and later as I was maturing and growing up, when I would get into spirals of negative thinking um, or spirals of depression, I would hear a loud crack against a window, like a, like a coin hitting a window, just like wham. And it would, it would startle me out of that spiral, right? It would just startle me and I would have to get up and go look at the window. It's like, what was that? Holy smokes. Because it literally felt like a coin or a rock hitting the window. And it wasn't until years later that I discovered once I was in communication with my guides, he actually stepped forward and said, that was me. I was always there trying to get you to stop spiraling down, to jolt you out of that pattern of disempowerment and remind you that you have options, that you have potentiality, that you can be positive. Choose something else to think about. Don't go into that negative spiral. And so our guide teams, whether they're our medical guides or our lifetime inner circle guides or they're our deceased family members or pets or whomever, doesn't matter. They all communicate with us in the way that we receive information. So the more you know about how you receive information, the more aware you are and the more you practice that, the more your guides are going to be able to get clear and precise information to you. And the third thing that's gonna be really super helpful for you communicating with your guides is the ability to muscle test or douse. Now, muscle testing is where we just, you know, muscle test and you, say, okay, this is a no, or this is a yes, or the other way around, whatever's yours, this is a yes, yes, this is a no, whatever it is for you. Or you have a pendulum like this one here, and you understand, okay, this is a yes, this is a no, okay, this is an I don't know, and if you don't know how to douse, I do have some training on that that you can enjoy and learn how to do. But dowsing really helps us if we are in a situation where we're concerned that maybe we contaminated the information that we're getting from our guides, because it can happen. When we're emotionally attached or mentally attached to a particular situation, 
we can contaminate the result, right? We can contaminate what we're getting because we want it to be a certain way or we want it to be a certain answer or we get the answer and then we feel bad about it because it's not what we want to do, right? So knowing how to douse or how to muscle test really will help you be able to delineate, is this really coming from spirit or is this me? And so that is a very, very supplemental useful tool that you can use that will help you validate information that you're getting from your guides. So in order to communicate with your guide, you need to first know that they exist, two, know how they communicate with you, and three, have a method to confirm the answers that you're getting are accurate. As promised, here's some information on the Spirit Guide class that I'm going to be teaching in January 2021. So what will happen is we're actually going to get information on your inner guide circle, and you're going to learn how to connect with them, how to communicate with them, how to receive their feedback, understand and validate the information that you're receiving is accurate, and so much more. Um, if you're interested, please click the link below to get more information, and I really hope that you join us. So I hope today's information has been helpful for you. I'm so grateful for how you support me and you support this channel, and please like, subscribe, and share this with anyone that you think could benefit, and make sure that you leave a comment and let me know how you receive information from your guides. Are you, do you hear things? Do you see things? Do you taste things? Do you know things? How does that show up for you? Remember, I'm here every week and I look forward to seeing you next time.